So for this first one, make a ray that is longer than the longest line segment up above. Next, your choice, copy one of them onto your ray. I do not care which one you copy on. AC or AB does not matter. Copy, this is the first construction I've shown you. And not to bring you down, but it's the easiest one too. That's why it was the first one. You take your compass, measure one of the line segments. Now I'm just, just so you guys know, my compass does not reach the length of AC. AC on my board up here is too long for my compass. So I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit. Sorry, all right, so just so you know, that's happening. All right, and then I'm gonna come back down to my ray. And make an arc through my ray. Done. You copied one side of the triangle. Now, can we get some labels here now? What should I call that endpoint here? Oh, 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 this endpoint. A. And depending on what you copied, that's going to be B or C. Okay? That's For me, it's going to be C because that's what I copied. If you copied A, B, that should be point B. Questions? So you copied one side. I, let's think about it. Should I copy the other side now? I don't have anywhere to put it. What, are you going to put it on the same side as AC? You ever seen a triangle where two sides are on top of each other? Me neither. So I can't really do that. So what's the only other option I have right now? Copy the angle. Angle A. Here we go. Going back up. Review with me. This is good review for Friday. Go back up to angle A. Where should I put my compass? On vertex A. And what do you want me to do? Anybody remember copying an angle? Arc, what's got to be? Make an arc so it does what, though? Intersects both rays. Here you go. There it goes. Intersects both rays. Then come down to where? Where do I come down to now? Nope, nope, nope. Remember, this is separate. This is a side. That, that arc represents a side right there. Come down to end point A of your ray. Make the same arc. Anybody remember, I go back up to my angle and do what? For copying an angle, I'm on. You put your compass point and your pencil point on the two points of intersection and just measure it. Come back down to your ray. Here's the uh, mo important point. Where do I put my compass now? Where do I put my compass now? Where the arc intersected, yes, where the arc intersected your ray, right there for me. That's where I'm going to put it. And then I'm going to make an arc so it intersects above. And then you should be able to draw in angle A now with your straight edge. I got a side, I got an angle. Only thing I'm missing? What's the only thing I'm missing from the requirement right now? The next side, the final side there. So I have already have AC, so for me, I need AB now. I need to get AB onto my triangle, so I know what to do here. I take my compass, I measure AB, or if you measured AB first, now you're measuring AC. But now I really don't want to tell you this final step here. Where am I going to copy this? We talked already that it, it doesn't make any sense copying it on my original ray because I'll have two sides on top of each other. Anywhere else on your diagram that you could copy this? 
the ray you just made previous, right? In the last step, right here. This ray right here, yeah. All right, because it doesn't make sense doing it right here in my original ray because I'll have two sides on top of each other. So the only other ray I can copy it onto is the one I just made. And that for me is point B. You guys said a triangle has three sides. I do not three, see three sides up here. Can I finish it, CC? How? Yep, line segment connecting B and C with my straight edge. And you've constructed your first triangle. It's got AC, it's got AB. Now don't compare it to mine because my AC does not match the AC I gave you guys. Remember that. And hey, this is what's great about constructions. You can check them pretty easily. Take your compass, open it up to AB, make sure you got a side that measures AB somewhere. Open up your compass to AC, make sure you got a side that matches AC on your triangle, done. All good, because I got I got to move quick here, because we're gonna make another type of triangle next. Any issues? Going? Okay. Next up, still uh, want to do a triangle, but now I want an equilateral triangle. So I just need to uh, gauge your knowledge on what equilateral means. Equilateral. There's three sides to a triangle and an equilateral triangle. All of them are equal to each other. Yep. You don't have to copy this definition down. I just want to make sure we're good. So all three sides equal. I, I need more detail though. Or all three sides congruent. What about the angles? Okay. Remember that all three angles congruent as well. So that's what we're going to do down here on the ray that has an endpoint of R. So we're going to make an equilateral triangle. But keep reading. Each side of the triangle is going to be the length of a diagonal of ABCD. What's a diagonal? What endpoint should I be connecting up here to form a diagonal? A and C or D and B. It will not, because it's a rectangle, it does not matter which ones you connect. Okay, so go ahead, connect those. Connect a set of endpoints there to make a diagonal. I don't care which ones you do. All right, so every side of the triangle's got to have that length. So what do you think the first task is? Copy it, right? Copy it onto your ray. Let's get a side. Let's get at least one side down. Copy that diagonal onto your ray. All good so far. I got one side, right? Now, if all three sides have to be the same, it doesn't make sense to, oh, let me go back and copy. Uh, we just copied it. Your compass is already open to it. But I don't want to put it here again, right? Because I'm just going to be doing the same step over and over and over and over again. Is there anywhere else I could possibly put my compass point to make another arc mark here? Other than R, because uh, you put it on R, we're making the same arc I already have there. Is there anywhere else we've put compass, compass before that maybe could make another arc point of intersection. Yep, here you go, point of intersection. And then you wanna make it so it intersects. Because look, look, look at mine right now. That's gonna be one side of the triangle. And isn't my compass open up to the length of the diagonal? 
So that's got to be the length of the diagonal right there. And then uh, we just create the triangle now with our straight edge. What's one place I'm going to connect? R to the point of intersection. There's one side. Remember, the second side was the, fir was the first step in the construction, which is that one. And where's my third side going to be? Point of intersection on the ray to the one up top. Equilateral. And then just check with your compass. Do all of them measure the same? They should. I'm going to challenge you guys here. Uh, can you put more detail on the triangle there for me if it's equilateral? Can you put more detail? Hash marks, yeah, telling me all sides are congruent. All right, now I'm going to go to an honors level right now. That was kind of like an average level. Let's go to the honors level. Using what you've done right now, keep everything where it is, can you create a 30-degree angle? for me using this construction up here. Let's talk algebra real quick. All sides are congruent, and what else are you telling me about equilateral? Ready, all, angle, all three angles are the same measure. Do you know what they all add up to in a triangle? Oh boy, oh boy. All three, no matter what type of triangle it is, all three angles add to what? 180, and we just said what? They're all equal. So that makes each angle what in an equilateral triangle? 60, but I'm asking for 30. Let me say it again. Each angle's 60. I'm asking for 30. What could I do to one of those angles? Cut it in half by bisecting. That is not a new construction. I just need to review it with you. So you guys pick an angle right now you want to bisect. Most of you are probably going to go with angle R, which is fine. All right. Anybody help me? Help me. I wasn't here that day in class. How do I bisect an angle? What do I do with my little compass here? I'm going to bisect angle R, I chose. So what do I do? Put my compass where? Compass point on R and do what? You're just thinking about the wrong one. You're thinking about the midpoint one. Thinking about the midpoint. What should I be making here? Arc that does what? Intersects both those rays. Okay, I did that. What's up next? What is up next? Because I'm not telling it to you. Bisect an angle. I made the first arc. Now, where do I put my, I got to put my compass somewhere. Yeah, one of the two points of intersection. Absolutely, that's where I'm going to put it. One of the two points of intersection and make another arc above it. Now where? Other point of intersection, and these two should intersect. And now you have created a 30 degree angle. Questions? I have a question. Did I show you any new construction through this whole thing here? You copied a line segment and you bisected an angle. That is it. I, I'm not going to show you many 
many more here this year. You're really going to stay to those four and just use them different ways. Okay? All right, next. Speaking of using the four different ways. Perpendicular bisector. Okay? This can come in many forms. It could be a line, a line segment, or array. But take each piece separately right now. What do you know about the word perpendicular? Got to form a right angle. So these, this line's got to form a right angle with the segment. And what do you know about the word bisector? Bisector, what's it got to do? Cut, it's got to cut it in half. So I need a line right now. If you look at my given, it says line EF is the perpendicular bisector of segment CD. So I need you guys to freehand right now line segment CD. Just draw line segment CD for me. I don't need any compass or anything fancy. Just draw line segment CD. All right, now I'm going to draw line EF in. I can't do it there. Why not? It looks perpendicular. Why can I not put EF there? It's got to not only be perpendicular, it also has to bisect. Definitely not. So I should be putting this line going through the what of CD? Midpoint, the middle, the midpoint, yes. So eyeball it right now, and then I'll show you how to construct it before we leave. That's all you're doing is eyeballing it. Can somebody please put markings on my diagram that says it's a perpendicular bisector? What are you putting on for perpendicular? Right angle symbol somewhere. What are you going to put on to show me it bisects? Where? On the line segment, not the line. And then we'll finish this up. How do I use my compass to do it? You guys know already. What's the, What was this point it went through? How do you find the midpoint using your compass? Yep, open it up more than halfway. You're going to do this on both sides. And then you're going to draw the line through, and that is your perpendicular bisector. Okay. If you don't think you have enough information for the homework out of the packet, you guys know where all the videos are to find them. And I'll go over the constructions we didn't get to first thing tomorrow. But utilize those videos, please. Use a lot, utilize Google, the internet.